In this video, we're going to take nine images using three different smart telescopes in just one night. We've got the Seastar S30 with just 30 millimeters of aperture. We've got the original Seastar, the S50. Finally, we have the Unicellar Odyssey Pro Telescope. Let's get started. So it should say powering on. So the first target with this telescope is going to be the Lagoon Nebula. It's already on the screen with only 50 seconds of exposure time. Go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and a satellite going through there. Seems like the Unistellar is done calibrating. It almost looks like it's slightly off. Like, I think the cluster is up here. Oh, this looks pretty good though. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so cool. Let's move the Seastar S30 over to M22, a giant globular cluster. Identifying, slewing, shooting, identifying, processing. Do check. Nope, no do. All right. So the Crescent Nebula is okay here. We were in quite a bit of haze. Kind of a fun image nonetheless. To Deadpool, aka Pelican Nebula. We're definitely seeing that filming light. Uh, we've got some haze and we've also got the city of Halifax. Right above us, that's clear of clouds. I see Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2. So here's our final image from the Seastar S30. We've got eight minutes of exposure. Finding object. Just one more to go after this. Object is centered. Start enhancing image. There we go. We can already see the galaxy in the image. I don't think the Unistellar was able to get the Pelican Nebula. Let's scoot the Unistellar over to M51. Wow, that eyepiece experience is really something special. What a fun night. Here are the final images. Yeah. 